to him, Matt Grillo, Dan Axelson, Ryan Zimmerman, Peter Pitroff making his first appearance this season. A transfer from Denison. Grant Latimer, Emmett Jennings, Ryan Naraki, Matt Gould, and Brendan Driscoll round out the starting unit for head coach Chris Gabrielli now in his ninth season at the helm of the Friars. So we'll go to the first face-off of the game out there for Denver. Alec Stathakis battling with Romeo, and the Pioneers will come up with the initial face-off here this afternoon. Business, the grad student from Peterborough, Ontario, comes up with goal number 19 on the season. Stathakis, a dominant face-off man, coming into this one with impressive numbers at the first quarter. So a goal from Ethan Walker and the equalizer from Matt Grillo as we go back to the faceoff. And the first faceoff of the season for TD Erlin, his first faceoff in a Denver uniform. And he's one of the elite faceoff men at any level in the nation. Wins that one. At 7.53. Erlin and Romeo, and Erlin comes up with that one cleanly again. He's on the run, dishes outside. Simmons thought about it, and I'll wait for reinforcements. Now Jack Hanna, back for Walker. That one coming at 9.36 of the first quarter. Team of the first quarter. So a goal from Ethan Walker, and the equalizer from Matt Grillo as we go back to the faceoff. And the first face-off of the season for T.D. Erlin, his first face-off in a Denver uniform. And he's one of the elite face-off men at any level in the nation. Wins that one. 4-1 lead. First action for T.D. Erlin in a Denver uniform. He was 2-for-2 two two in the first quarter. In a battle with Romeo here. Erlin able to come away with his third face-off win in three tries here. Dislodged though from behind. It was a nice job by Ryan. On to take this face off. He's perfect, three of three. Stathicus two of four with his two losses violations. This time it's gonna be a violation against Romeo. Friars mixing it up as they threw out the pole of Ricky Amarin. Has taken a couple face offs. Is at 50% on the Between season. Goals from Walker and Kotler here in the second after the Friars had made it 4 2. And another face off win for Denver. And TD Erlin. Again, the first look we've had at him all season long. And all he's done is go 4 for 4 and now make it 5 for 5. And even with the new stance rules and grip rules. Curio. And Erlin takes a big hit. Loses the face off. Bodies flying everywhere. Erlen losing his stick there in the scrum. And and the Friars now on the attack. Well, this Denver attack, just such a machine. Jackson Morrill picking up the assist that time. Stathicus locked in with Romeo, finally pops it free. And that one is live. But coming away with it is the Pioneers. And Jennings still has another minute and six seconds left on his two penalties. Simmons will rejoin the game in about six seconds. And a push on Romeo will give the face up. And that one coming at 10.30. And breaks a three goal streak by the Pioneers. Another face off win for Denver. They have only lost two of the in the D and making teams pay. So that was Logan's third of the season. Another quick face off win. And Denver in position for another shot. That one's gonna go in the second quarter in Denver. And similar to fashion and what happened out at Peter Barton Stadium when they took care of Providence 23 to 10. Didn't quite get there against Georgetown. And today far below that as well. 
Well, the Friars also got to make a little bit more of their opportunities on the offensive end, but credit Denver, their defense, so fundamentally sound, big, strong, athletic guys. All of them great on-ball defenders as well, making things difficult for the Friars. But one half a play left here in the Ocean State's capital city. Friars defending goal to the right here in this third quarter. Denver goal to the left. Alex Stathakis. And Denver just making it look easy on the offensive end here this afternoon. Is this one unfolding in similar fashion score-wise as the first meeting in Denver. TJ, TD Erlin, the easy scoop, and that one off the four. Just two minutes and 40 seconds into the third quarter. Erlin wins another faceoff. He is 10 for 10 now for the game. Really easy. Denver so efficient on the offensive end. Stathakis wins the faceoff. And dislodging it though, it's coming through as Mike O'Grady. But out of play to the Pioneer. Eleven oh seven left here in the third quarter. The Pioneers with four straight goals to open the third frame and continuing to dominate on the faceoffs. Pioneers breaks a long stretch of goals, five in fact, by the Pioneers. Comes at six twenty of the third quarter. And another clean faceoff win for TD Erlin. Saves. And allowing those 16 goals, but many of them he had basically no chance at. And a violation against Romeo leads to another goal streak. Uh, 14 games now. Face-off won by the Friars. The first face-off they've actually won today outside of two violations. Coach Tierney will put TD Erlin back out there, who's... 12 of 12 on faceoffs today. And another faceoff win for the Pioneers, a scooping it up. Their bread and butter play, getting open man right in front of the crease. Babcock with the finish. And the goals just keep coming from the Pios. So we are past the midway point now of the fourth quarter. Clean face-off win for Erlin. Babcock again, this time this denied. Season. Has not allowed, excuse me, 15 minutes of action last season. Has seen 26 minutes of action as we have a violation against the Pioneers to give it back to Colorado. Well, the ball's still loose. Friars trying to pop it free. And they will get it. But forced all the way back, four red fourth shirts. Quarter. I'm getting back to my thought just as he was scoring. Denver will be back at home next Saturday hosting Marquette. And again, the Friars on the road at Villanova. Face off so just 12 wins. seconds left in the game. Still a live face off and it's gonna be won by the Pioneers. And that will do it. Denver improved.